my hair look okay? Does my hair look all right? Good, okay. All right, welcome back, guys. Mrs. D is being a cameraman back there. Uh, and uh, camera, PC, camera woman, sorry. Don't want to offend anything. I would never want to offend anybody on this channel. Um, so I, I'm going to do a quick review, something you guys might be interested in, because uh, we uh, just did this the other day on the property. So one of the th projects I had when I came up here was to survey the property line. Uh, it's established. We have corner pins established at, can you see my hands way over here and way over here? We have all the corner pins of the property established. Those are surveyed back when they they did this development thing and i trust those i think they're pretty good and it seems like the neighbors are following it so we're all kind of on board but i don't know where the line is you know it's there's a quite a distance there's about 660 feet between you know points so i want to know where that line is because we want to be building structures or putting in some of this infrastructure so uh, I didn't really know how I was going to do that, and so I did a couple of different methods. And the first one is the old school uh, manual method right here. And what I have right here, you ever seen one of these? This is called a pocket transit, not to be confused with a compass, but this is called a pocket transit. And it's kind of a knockoff um, of a Brunton pocket transit, which is kind of beefy and made out of metal and like really good. And everybody loves them, but they're about 300 to $500 new, depending on what kind you get. This was 22 bucks, Amazon. I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description because it's actually a pretty good tool. The review said that it does pretty much the same thing as the Brenton one, but it's not as durable, obviously. So our property is on a grid, pretty much. It's basically due north, north and south grid. They did it that way on purpose, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know if it's lat lawn. Which one's lat? Mrs. D, do you know which one's lat and long? Is latitude this way and long longitude vertical? I think so. I think longitude, okay, so longitude is basically along the grid. It follows true north. And before I got into this, I figured, well, I'll run out there with a compass. I'll stick the compass on north. I'll look at north. I know I'm on zero. Let's go north to south. Well, you know, me not knowing anything about, you know, any of this stuff, discovered that you have to actually find true north or grid north. There's several different types of norths, I guess, you know, hey. Everything's relative, right? What you do with this pocket transit is you open it up. Check this out. You pop this open. Let's get you close in on here. So you pop it open, right? You get this mirror. And I, th I always think mirror and a compass is like a signaling device. But that's not what this is for. And then you have this sort of AK-47 gun sight thing with a little articulating deal. Can you see that right there? It moves. Mm -hmm. And then over here you have this thing, which is another little gun sight deal. I don't really use that, but I'll, I, I think I, I can show you what that does. All right, so when you open this transit up, uh, what you'll find is there's this little dot right here, this little tick mark, and that's lined up with a zero. And you can see right now that the N, the magnetic north, is lined up with zero. I, I have this camera, I don't think we'll zoom, yeah, it zooms in that close. So it's lined up with zero right now. So this is pointing towards magnetic north on zero, right? So again, when that, when that mark comes in, it's on zero. That little screw, that little flathead adjustment on this side, you can, t when you turn that, this little dial changes. It's, it's your declination offset. And I kind of just, I kind of just think of it as an offset from magnetic north. So to find that, you have to go on NOAA, on a NOAA website, and I'll put a link in the description. It's a little bit funky, but you look it up, you type in your address or your, um, location, coordinates work, anything that kind of gets you, get, gets it, gets that software to figure out where you're at. And then it'll tell you, it'll calculate, you hit calculate, and then it'll tell you your declination offset from magnetic north. So magnetic north is that way, and you can see that the direction I want to travel if I want to go exactly north is actually 14 degrees off of magnetic north. So that's pretty easy to figure out. And once that happens, then what you do is see that bubble level right there on the top? The way these work is you want to get everything level. Because if you don't, it's not going to be as accurate. So you'll get that thing right in the center. Let's just say you're able to hold that. You can put it on a tripod. You can set it on some solid ground. Whatever you want to do, it's meant just to give you more accuracy in, the, in your reading. So uh, once you get that leveled out and lined up and you get your zero zeroed right there, then you're ready to take your, your north-south measurement. Or, you know, if you're reading coordinates, you know, on a plat map, 
usually it's based off of a, a vector or a uh, it's like an it's not an azimuth but it's a you're, you're basing it off of north south and you're, it's an offset reading so you're zero and then it's, it's basically 360 degrees uh, like a protractor kind of measurement you're not you're not really looking at like northwest east south you're looking at zero and then 360 degrees so if you're you know 40 degrees off of north it's like that. I'm not an expert at this, but I can kind of make, I kind of try to figure out what those me readings mean. All I really care is if I'm going north to south in our, in our particular case, right? But you just simply set it. Now this will only do degrees. It won't go down to minutes or seconds or anything like that. So it's a very kind of a crude, you know, tool to get you in the ballpark. And that's all I really cared about. So once you get your direction set, what you'll want to do is you'll want to aim this device right here, this target site it has a little tick mark on top of that but it's got a target sight and you want to aim it and you can have somebody standing out there in front of you with a stick we had a stick or a ruler or what you know a, a level or whatever and you want those you want that person to be visible and I, I think you can get about 50 feet 100 feet it's kind of what your how good your eyesight is really and so you look down it and you aim, you set your your little target sight up you can see that can you see that moving up and down kind of cool and then what you do is you move in just like you're lining up a gun sight. And you can see right here, if I zoom in on this, you line up that line, boom, you're right in line with that. And it can kind of move up and down. You know, it's just more of an alignment tool, right? And so that, now you are on grid north. I'm pointing directly towards grid north right now. Um, provide, well, I'm a little bit off, I'm a couple degrees off, close enough. But you're lining that up. And now anybody out here can hold a stick up and say, okay, cool, you're right there, move to the right, move to the left, or west, east, basically. Um, and then you put it, and you can basically mark that point, and then you go to that point, and you mark another point. So you can set your um, you can set your boundaries that way. It's pretty neat. And it got us pretty darn close. We double-checked the work with uh, GPS, and it was darn close. A couple feet off is fine. And remember, you're not doing minutes and seconds, so if it's uh, a little bit off, you won't notice it. Um, and then what you'll also notice is, and I, I don't need this feature, but there's a level right here next to it, right? And that's for your inclinations. Let's say, let's just say this thing's off. It happens to be right on right now, but let's say that bubble level is off, right? I can move, I'll get it lined up this way. See that bubble going to kind of zero it out. And it's, you know, you're eyeballing it. It's not like perfect, you know, but then what you do is you're changing that bubble level with that adjustment back there that sets your inclination okay so it's pretty I would say that's pretty close it's not quite in the middle but it's close enough for this measurement we're doing and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this and you're gonna go okay what are we at where's our degrees it appears we are at about 11 degrees of incline right there and of course if you're doing this freehand you can like I said you can like take a point and aim it and look at it and then kind of check it it's best to like brace it up against a rock or a tree or something so you don't move it around but you can get really rough estimates of you know what grid you're on you know how what what grid measurements you're on and also what inclination you're at i think there's also a way to check if you know some of this math back here i think you can figure out distance as well but i'm not that smart i just need it for basic uh measurement use all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that review of the pocket transit i hope that in light I, you know it took me a while to figure out how to use this thing you know i knew that's kind of what i needed but it you know i just figured if you need some quick measurements it's really cool for that much more accurate than your standard hiking compass i think and especially for what we're trying to do uh, another thing to keep in mind one tip that i that i kind of discovered while i was using it we have corner pins on our property and somebody put a metal stake in next to it and so if, and what you obviously want to do is get right over that pin you can use a plumb bob or whatever you want but you want to get pretty darn close to that well whenever there's something metal whether it's a a level a, you know made out of any sort of metal it doesn't matter what it is this thing this compass just goes crazy like it moves you know probably 30 degrees it's it's super super sensitive if you wear a tinfoil hat for instance and you get too close to your head things move no 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 courtesy laugh from mrs d no, by the way, do I have a great tinfoil hat collection? Not I do, anymore, right? You don't. Not, Not anymore. Right. Um, yeah, that's the pocket transit. Done. Pretty cool. I like it. I want one of those Brunton ones. If you guys want to send a gift, 
send a Brunton one. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep us in your prayers as usual. See you in the next one.